What is a beer? What is a non-alcoholic beer? The dictionary says a beer is a fermented alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverage made from plants or roots. Okay, so a non-alcoholic beer, at least according to the dictionary, is possible. But how do they make it? And which methods produce better tasting beers? Well, first method is I want to go right back to the start when prohibition was happening in the US. They came up with a definition that non-alcoholic is less than 0.5% alcohol. At the time, using the technology they had, best way to do this was getting a regular beer, brewing it as normal, and then boiling it so the alcohol would come out and you're left with a beverage with less than 0.5% alcohol volume. Sounds good. Sounds relatively simple. Big problem is that boiling, that heat, damages the flavor. And when you're like me, you want maximum taste, no alcohol, it's not good enough, is it? So they thought, all right, how can we reduce the heat? Put the beer in a vacuum. I'll reduce the boiling point, lose less heat, and get a better tasting beer. Yeah, okay, progress. Next sort of progress was they started using a technique called reverse osmosis. So we get a filter, it has very small holes, you pass the liquid through it. And lots of the like substances will stay on one side, and on the other side will go the water and alcohol, predominantly. You boil this, and then you pour the water into the mixture, and you have a non-alcoholic beverage. Still damages the flavor a bit, and probably worst of all, it's an expensive process. Third way, uh, this one I like, and you'll see lots of the beers that I think are pretty good use this method. And what it is, is a couple of German scientists were working away and they developed a strain of yeast that develops fermentation, develops the beer, but it doesn't produce the alcohol. So this is great, right? You can develop a beer, a brew beer, just as you normally would, and end up with a non-alcoholic product. This allows lots more of those delicate flavors, like in the IPA, APAs, hoppier sort of styles, to stay there, and not get damaged by heat. And same for the lagers, they just develop just as well. So if you want to check out some of these beers, subscribe to my channel. Do yourself a favor. I've tried hundreds of non-alcoholic beers, I'm telling you which ones are good and which ones are bad. Don't waste your time on a crappy non-alcoholic beer. I've, I've done that for you. I've wasted the time and money and my taste buds doing that. Subscribe and you'll see which beers are worth your money and worth your palate. I'm Dry Dude. See you soon.